Hey guys, Ivan here and this video we are starting with Mikhail Krizio and his posing routine from Siberian Power Show where he of course won and presented himself in the best light possible. So we haven't really seen him in this shape, well I wouldn't say in a long time but ever really, he brought the best shape of his life right now, he brought a really good level of conditioning and he didn't disappoint, like he looked what we expected based on his gym photos. Now, if you talk about how big his potential is in IB Pro League against the top pros, I just think his legs are a little bit too stringy right now, they need to grow more. His lower body needs to be much thicker, because he's a tall guy, he has long limbs, and uh, it's crazy that his arms are so big and that he is so big and full upstairs. Look, look, look at the back, back looks amazing actually. So I thought his back is gonna be kind of a weakness, but it's not, really, it's not. So the only weakness that I can notice is maybe the leg mass overall. He has good striations in the legs, quads are looking big and full, the glutes are shredded, the hamstrings as well, like he's in a great conditioning. But from this side shot especially, you can see, his legs could be bigger, right? I mean, the legs of Phil Heath and Big Ramy are just much thicker, especially from the side. So that's the, that's the main, the only, the only flaw that I could really notice. The waist is pretty small, it could be smaller, but it's it's good waist for sure. I mean, everything else just, it's really good, except for the legs. I would like to see bigger legs from the side especially, but look at this most muscular. Look at this most muscular, I mean, this is really freaking impressive. A look at the conditioning and the muscularity, uh, considering the fact that he's so tall, he looks so thick and the most muscular. So I'm guessing he can do really well in, in IBB Pro League. I don't know if he can actually be like a top bodybuilder, top 6, but top 10? Sure, I can see that. Here is an interesting comparison that my friend Fernando Arroyo made on his Instagram page. He's comparing most muscular of Mikael Krizio against the top 3 at last year's Mr. Olympia. Phil Heath, Brandon Curry and Big Ramy, the Mr. Olympia winner. And uh, as far as the most muscular, Big Ramy looks the least impressive here. He doesn't have the conditioning, right? He doesn't have those deep cuts, deep striations. Uh, live muscle that, for example, Phil has, and Brandon pretty much, but Phil is definitely the most the most freaky looking, except for the gut, of course. But then again, Michael Krish, honestly, I like his most muscular here the most. I mean, this crab pose, he looks the thickest, the, the, the fullest, the roundest. I mean, this guy is tall, and he still manages to look really thick and the most muscular, which is not something you see every day. So, I mean, I would say it's a different look, a little bit different look. He's a little bit more athletic looking, a little bit more classic looking, but still a monster, still really big. But I can see this, this kind of physique, it's different, but I still can see it being one of the top physiques. It's different, but so what? Who says that all top bodybuilders need to be short and, and thick like pit bulls? This is similar kind of to Cedric McMillan, but with better peaks, with better bites a peak. With, with more of a complete physique, really, and better conditioning. Like, this guy brought really serious level of conditioning. I mean, check these glutes out and the hamstrings. So, what he needs to work on, in my opinion, is just bring the, 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 the leg size up. Just get them a little bit thicker and fuller. I don't want to see this gap between the legs. I want to see bigger lower body. And that can be a Mr. Olympia winning potential. And he's not an old guy. He's a young guy. He's, like, in his late 20s, I believe. So he has enough time to grow more, and with this kind of genetics, with this conditioning that he can actually bring, with this kind of aesthetics, I mean, overall, very impressive bodybuilder, and a great Mr. Olympia potential. Hopefully, he will take that leap. Alright, so something else now. So I'm gonna make a prediction video about the New York Pro, but right now, in my mind, I have this guy winning, I just have to say it, yeah, I have Hassan Mustafa winning. And I thought so from the beginning, but then I saw a lot of really good photos of Nick Walker, and I'm not really sure exactly, but if I was a betting man, I would bet on Hassan. Because I've seen him look great, better than, than, than Nick, if you ask me. If you talk about the genetics, uh, the proportions, the shape and everything, and the, the density of the muscle, the size and everything, this guy has it, this guy has it really, really good. And right now, he's uh, six weeks out and he just announced it, like, officially. He, uh, he, he said it before, he might do it, he might not, now it's official, he says it's six weeks out, and at six weeks out, damn, he looks great. Like, look at the shoulders and the delts and the chest here, so he's really full, really thick and really conditioned. 
I mean, look at how many separations and how many, what this vascularity is on his on his shoulders and arms and forearms and everything at six weeks out. And the thickness, the size of this guy, that's not an issue. He can bring that. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's a freak. He has really, really impressive looking physique. I mean, those legs, some of the biggest legs ever that I've ever seen, pretty much. You're going to see it when he turns around if you haven't already. And he can bring the conditioning to a decent level. I haven't really seen him super ripped. And this is a Tampa Pro where he, where he looked good. He looked great, for sure. But then at the New York Pro, when he stepped on the stage, everybody is saying that he looked like a winner. But somehow he faded as the poses went on. So eventually he, he ended up being like fourth or fifth. But if he somehow manages this time around to bring good level of conditioning, if he picks perfectly, properly, if he doesn't mess it up, I'm, I'm betting on him. I'm betting on him. It's going to be probably close between him and Nick, in my opinion. But I think he's going to win it. What do you guys think? Who's going to win it? Okay, so another New York competitor, Blessing Awadibu, just posted this one day ago, uh, a photo of his abs, which is something he has been doing very often. He has been showing off his, his kind of small waist and really well-shaped abs, which is something he is known for. He has a great stomach, great midsection. But soon after he posted this, Nick Walker posted a photo of his legs that are looking absolutely shredded. I mean, look at the size of those veins, man. He's dry. He's dry six weeks out. And the caption was interesting. So he says, I'm tired of these, of seeing these same old ab shots. Let's see some quad shots. And he didn't really, I don't think he tagged Blessing. I don't see it. But he was referring to him for sure. Because that's like the biggest rivalry in bodybuilding that we have right now. And then it started. And then the drama started. And his comments were hilarious. So Blessing's first response was... Don't play with me, ass man, <laughs> lol. You need to find a way to make them quads longer, short, <laughs> AF. And then uh, Nick says, your legs are too long and your upper body too short. Lopsided boy. And lopsided, I just googled it, it means when one side is uh, smaller or bigger than the other. And then Blessing's response was, and I am the master, you the puppet. I tell you what to do, don't tell me what to do, remember that. <laughs> the boogeyman show, hashtag. And Nick's final response is, the stage will say it all. Because Nick is pretty comfortable, pretty, pretty secure that he's gonna beat Blessing. I don't think he really uh, feels like he's a top threat. I think he's more scared of Justin Rodriguez, for example, and Hassan Mustafa now, which is realistic. But Blessing, he is a showman, like he is a celebrity on Instagram, he has so many followers. He wanted this, he wanted to create some drama and this is kind of making him more relevant. People are expecting a lot from him. Now, if he disappoints, if he just doesn't bring a good package, it's gonna be bad for him. But if he brings a solid package, he doesn't really have to beat Nick. He just needs to show up good. And all this drama and all this, this fun that we had coming into the show, it's gonna be just a positive thing for him. And I like it. I love it. I love these things. I mean, what is so wrong about some rivalries? Especially when they're positive like this. They don't really hate each other. It's not like Kai and Phil. Those guys didn't really like each other. It's more like... Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler. It's more of a positive rivalry, but I don't know how much of a rivalry it actually is because I don't know how close these guys are. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Blessing like take fifth and uh, Nick win the show. So we'll see what's gonna happen. The New York Pro. As for now, we have these updates and it's gonna be a good show. I can tell you that much. But you guys tell me, what do you think about Michal Krizio? How well would he do at the Mr. Olympia level? And who do you think is going to win this New York Pro? Hassan? Is it going to be him or Nick or maybe Blessing? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding updates, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.